Dorothy says that Jeff has been an amazing father figure to her kids. But just last month, that all changed. You see, Jeff is being accused of sneaking into her daughter's room and performing sexual acts on her. Take a look. When I met Jeff, everything was great. He was a great dad. He took care of my kids. He plays with them. He helps them with their homework. He takes them places to the park. Yeah, he's been there for the last six years. He's got them birthday presents, been there when they had surgery. Last month, my world came crashing down. A month ago, my daughter told me that Jeff came into her bedroom multiple different times, performed a sexual act on her. When she came to me, I just, my world came crashing down. My family fell apart. It's like, I'm by myself. I drive myself crazy. I cry myself to sleep. I can't eat. It's like, I need my kids. It's just him being there for years and nothing ever happened. And then this one incident now, it's like they're gone. In a blink of an eye, they're gone. I can't get them ready for school. I can't put them to bed. Um, it just, it hurts. I'm really scared that I won't get my kids back. What do you have to say about what she's saying? This is something serious, you know. This is not me. This is not who I am. I'm not this sick monster that everybody thinks I am. Uh, so the night in question, what happened that night? Me and Dorothy was watching TV. She was filling out paperwork for the kids at school. And I went to my family members for a second and then to grab something. And then we come home. And she gets a text, hey, I need to talk to you. And the accusation was that I sexually molested or touched her daughter, which that is not true. That's Who texted Dorothy to say this? A friend. OK, and she said, hey, Jeff is yes. doing something inappropriate yes. with yes. Uh, your daughter. Yes. And so then what happened? CPS and whatnot got involved. They called me down to the detective to go for questioning. You were questioned which, by the police? Yes, yes. And I went down there. I was like, you got my full cooperation. You can take mouth swabs. You can take DNA what tests. Were you, what were you accused of doing? Uh, touching her and pulled her pants down, which, you know, I didn't. That's not who I am. The, these oh. are my kids. Of the years. police call you down, and what happens with that? They question me. Then I haven't heard from them since. And, and but CPS then takes Dorothy's kids away, right? Yes. And your own child, right? Yes. Even though you consider all the children yours. Yes. They take all the kids away, plus your biological child. Um, are you allowed to see your child? Yes, I am. But I, I want to get all this taken care of before I go and see her, so nothing else is coming when up. When was she taken away? A month. A month, A month ago. Yes. Okay. So you haven't gone seeing your daughter. You're waiting to all this. Yes. Don't you miss her? I do. I don't do. you think she would like to see her dad? Yes. Okay. I, I don't know if I'd wait for anything to go see my daughter. Um, uh, do you do you believe Dorothy's daughter was sexually assaulted? I believe something happened, but I'm not the one. I'm not sick. You believe like it might have happened, but not by you. Yes. Okay. Here's your girlfriend, Dorothy. I don't believe that you did this. I really don't believe you did this, but I know something happened to my daughter. I'm, and I, I have to get down to the bottom of it and find out what happened. And I love you to death. I want to do this. I want to prove my innocence. I want to take it to the next step to where we can have our kids back. I want our kids back. So you find out that somebody sends you a text about the accusation? Yeah, it's like 20 minutes after we left the house, my friend texted me and said that she had to talk to me as soon as I got back. And how did she find out? Um, I guess when we left, my daughter went and told her. What did you think? Like, when you first, your friend's telling you about this, do you think Jeff did it? No, because no. I, he, if he'd be in two places at once, then maybe, but he was in the room with me. Okay. So it didn't add up, the no, story? No, it didn't add up. Um, 
So when your daughter told you about the ex accusation, you never reported it? No. Why not? Because I'm stupid. I thought I had the situation under control because you know, we were talking about it. And she told me that she didn't see who it was, but she, in her heart, knew that it was Jeff. So there was other people in the house? Yes. OK. Um, so what happened at school the next day? Uh, she told her friends, and they told the counselor. And then I was at work. That Nobody called me. Um, Which so, ended up putting you in a bad light, right? Yes. Because um, you knew about it, but you didn't report it. Yes. My uh, friend texted me, told me that she hadn't came home from school. So I was at work. I called the police. I asked them, you know, they told me that she was at Children's Hospital. So I went down there and met up with the social workers and the detective. And because of all this, they, how many kids do you have? Four. And they took them all away? Yes, they took them all. Which had to be yes, horrible Yes, it is food. extremely hard. My world is, like, gone. What do you think happened to your daughter? I believe that something happened. I believe something happened, but it, it, I don't believe it was Jeff. What if it was? Well, if it was, then he'll be going to jail. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Contact the show now at 1-888-STEVE-07. Did you ever touch Dorothy's daughter in a sexual manner? He answered no. And the results for his lie detector test is that Jeff told the truth. Just so you know, we tested him four times, and he passed the yeah, test four I knew times. He didn't do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I gotta say, um, uh, you know, it would be easy for me just to rip into you for not reporting him, and your kids got taken away. But I gotta say it like this: if somebody told my wife that I did something. I would hope that my wife would believe me and not just call the police and report me, you know what I mean? But because you didn't say something and go report it, they take all your kids away. And listen, if your daughter reached out to somebody and said something happened to her, it sounds like because of the, the whole scenario of it, maybe something did, but it's not Jeff. So you got to find out yes. somebody did yes. something to your daughter. I believe something happened. Right. I'm not pinpointing who or right. where or what. But after all this, I, I want to go back home. I want to figure out who did this. Uh, I hope that you get your kids back at some point. And I hope uh, whoever did anything to your daughter that uh, that person is brought yes, to justice. Gonna so we're going go to the next Good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. You. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'm relieved. I, I knew he didn't do it. It's just now I got to go home and find out what exactly happened. I am sincerely grateful to Steve. He's the one that helped us through this. He's the one that gave us this opportunity to clear my name and to pull my family back together. I want my family back. I want my kids back. Th this is everything to me.